In health news this morning, nearly 13,000 women in the U.S. are diagnosed with cervical cancer each year. January is Cervical Health Awareness Month, and here to talk about what, ways that you can prevent HPV and cervical cancer is Dr. Lee Seaman. Thank you so much for being here with us this morning. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So we've heard a lot about HPV out there, so we need to break down exactly what it is and exactly do people, how do they know if they have it, too? Yeah, so HPV is known as the human papillomavirus. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a virus that causes cancers and diseases in both men and women. It's actually the most common sexually transmitted disease in the United States. Okay. With about 80% of the population being infected and really never even knowing they have it. Wow. So, really it doesn't cause a whole lot of symptoms, uh -huh. sometimes until it's too late. Um, the important thing is that most HPV doesn't cause disease. Your body usually rids itself of the infection. It's only when it doesn't that it can become an issue. Yeah, I mean, there's so much controversy out there in, in, in regards to the vaccine for, for both girls and boys, right, when it comes to what Absolutely. the HPV vaccine. So um, treatments out there, you said your body kind of rids itself, right? Yeah, it so does rid itself, but you know, there, um, there really is no treatment for HPV itself. There are treatment for the diseases that it causes, okay. um, but really no treatment for HPV. So really the key to it is prevention. Mm -hmm. um, and with prevention, we usually talk about vaccinate, vaccinate, vaccinate. All boys and girls between the ages of 11 and 12, um, hopefully that's prior to their sexual debut. Sure. Um, and that way we can prevent the virus from ever even occurring. There are over about 150 types of HPV virus. Um, there are high risk ones and low risk ones. The low risk ones cause the genital warts and there are vaccines that will even prevent that. Okay. Um, the high risk ones are the ones that we're worried about cancer. So vaccinate, vaccinate, vaccinate. Don't smoke and use condoms, safe sex, and then get regular pap smears for detection. Okay, and, and I mean, what is it that makes it so controversial when it comes to the vaccine? What are, um, what's the pros I and the think cons? maybe a pro partly because um, mothers and fathers really don't think that their child is going to be sexually active oh. um, at that early of an age. Okay. Um, and. You know, um, there's a lot of different controversies out there, but really, um, I'll tell you for one, my son and my daughter, who are four and a half at age 11 or 12, will be getting the vaccine. It's really important. It prevents um, anal cancer as well as mouth and throat cancer for both men and women prevent cervical cancer, vulvar cancer, and vaginal cancer for women. And then um, it also prevents penile cancer in, in men. Um, so it's very important um, to vaccinate. Okay, so as we move through 2017, some things really that yeah. everybody kind of needs to take into consideration. So um, as far as HPV and cervical cancer and the correlation of the two, I know you've kind of touched on it, but just to kind of sum everything up for everybody as we stare down Cervical Cancer Awareness Month, I, your final thoughts on everything. So um, almost all cervical cancer cancers are caused by HPV. Okay. So if we can prevent it, that's the key. Um, it does typically, uh, cervical cancer can cause some symptoms and it's important that women know um, about these symptoms. Abnormal bleeding, particularly um, bleeding either during or after intercourse. Okay. Um, Postmenopausal bleeding, you've gone from menopause and you have bleeding. It could be cancer, not just cervical cancer, but endometrial cancer. Okay. So any um, postmenopausal bleeding and then any unusual lower back abdominal pain, symptoms of that regard, um, patients and women should really contact their providers. Okay. But the key really is prevention and prevention is associated with vaccination. Okay, some great yeah. information. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, thank for you so much by. for having sure. me. If you've been diagnosed with cancer and would like a second opinion or consultation, please call 1-855-SH-CANCER. That's 855-742-2623.